people say Campbelltown and Oban are near neighbours. There's 95 miles between us. The noon's 104. We can hardly get a referee to come as well. The nearest club in our league this season is Lockelpit, which is classed as a local derby, which is a round trip of 100 miles. <laughs> my name is Campbell Robertson. I was born and bred in Campbelltown, lived all my life here. I'm the secretary of Campbelltown Pupils Football Club. Campbelltown, um, best known for whisky. And at one time, we were the whisky capital of the world, a boom town at that time. My name's Alec McKinvin. I'm uh, chairman, and for my pains, I'm the treasurer and fundraiser of Campbelltown Pupils Amateur Football Club. The average trip, I would say, is about 260 mile round trip. We meet at the same time, 9.15, 9.30, to get into the central belt. 260 to 270 miles uh, every, every weekend. You like playing football, you like playing with your pals as well, so you've got to do it. You have to do it. I'm Lee Allen and I'm a defender. I'm Ryan Deans and I'm a midfielder. We've had a few abandonments. Twice in the one season, we, we travelled up to Central Scotland and we got to Greenock and uh, the pitch was waterlogged. Game was off. Just jumped the bus straight back home. I think we were playing Inverclyde away in the cup and we took the ferry from Tarbert over to Port of Addy and the bus broke down. So the next ferry wasn't until like five hours later. So we ended up just on people the drink all day. <laughs> so we never even got to play football in the end. Best player right now. Oh, I don't know. Well, we've got an 18 year old goalkeeper. We've got a 17 year old centre half. They're just learning the game, a lot of the boys in the team. Annoying player, uh, Lee Allen. He's, he is an annoying boy. He just kind of help yourself. The most annoying thing he did to me was I had my dog down here, a wee whippet, and I took him down to training with me one night, and they were getting a practice match on the pitch, and they were supposed to be erecting the goals and getting the flags out, and, and Lee was, as usual, bugging about, does again with your hand, and he booted the ball, and he hit my wee dog in the ribs, full belt. And my wee dog doesn't get in this park anymore because of it. I just I hit a shot up Kintyre Park and it, I think it went about 15 yards wide. It like <laughs> wasn't even close. <laughs> I right on to Campbell's dog. But, uh, uh, Campbell wasn't very happy. I'm uh, still not happy, I don't think. <laughs> not been the same since, so I don't think. I was half angry. You guys that come every week don't miss a game. We've got one guy in particular, 70 year old man, Roy Mitchell, still works full time as a HGV driver, all week driving, and he jumps in his car on a Saturday morning. And everywhere we are, he's there. My name is Roy Mitchell. Coming up to we watch the away games for about eight years now, and uh, quite enjoy it. Something to do on a Saturday. It's the only time my car gets a wee run. Don't come out, Lee! Well, tell me not to commit that. <laughs> <laughs> the community of Campbellton helps out enormously. They help out in everything they do. We're almost an island community, very tight knit. We've got one one main fundraiser on the team, and that's Alec. Alec is Mr. Pupils. Well, Campbell means everything to the club because you've got to have a person who's totally committed, and he's certainly that. They're two different personalities, you know, and... Uh... If we win, we cuddle each other in a pint. If we lose, 
we've had many a fallout. Every club needs a Campbell Robertson, and we've certainly got one. And 20 years' time, I'm hoping we'll be here, still doing exactly the same thing, and I'm sure we will be. Yes! I love it. Still get enjoyment of it. Nothing better than winning a Saturday. <laughs>